Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Wrestling Revolution's Reboot. Folks, this is about to be a big pay-per-view up in here tonight, baby. We are bringing to you the first ever Brother Love Memorial Battle Royal. We are acknowledging that Brother Love passed away a year ago. So right here on the Wrestling Revolution reboot, we are putting all of our not so great competitors in a battle royal to see who will be the number one job right here in Wrestling Revolution. We got everybody in here from Flick Thug, Monica Marquez, Kylie Barrier. Berlane and everyone else involved and here we go we got all the weapons already in the ring and I be, all hell is about to break loose and it literally is all hell breaking loose as we speak we got five we got stick of dynamite with flick thug and cactus Heyman. Ooh Flick thug with a hook come right and landed into a damn power driver from Monica Marquez, boy. Oh, God, the dynamite exploded. Everybody's down, including the referee. Berlane up here jumping on Leon Luck. We got all kinds of plunder in this ring. Skateboards. Kylie Barry just got thrown over the top rope, but she got saved. Everybody drinking water. You know you got to stay hydrated. Drop kick from Kylie Berry. Another explosion. Now the pool table is on fire. Ain't that a bit? Referee Tony Land recording this like this is a world star video. I mean, it might as well be. It really might as well be a world star video with all this crazy. It's flicked up. It's caught with a hurricane runner. Wait a minute. We're trying to see who's about to get eliminated. Nobody's been eliminated just yet. All we know, there's a whole lot of fire. And. Leon Luck is the first one eliminated as he got sent to hell. Kylie Barry just got eliminated as she got sent to hell. So much going on. We got all kinds of action in store for y'all tonight, man. All the titles are on the line, including our main event the, for the Intercontinental Championship as, as Clayton Heath, the misfit himself, defends against the returning Gothic Nightmare who's finally back from injury. We also got Cool Ricky defending his world title against Tyler El Guapo. We got the way. Oh my God! And Flick Thug has been eliminated. Uh oh. Oh man, Red Eye couldn't get Candace Hamer's big ass over the top rope. Oh God! And Widow's arm broke again. Yo, she got hurt last week against Amanda Moonchild. Now she getting hurt by Monica Marquez. Yo, Widow might be on the shelf for a minute. Oh my God, and Katniss Heyman beating up on Red Eye. Picks her up. And bitch pressing in. Red Eye has been eliminated. We're down to our final four competitors. Widow, Monica Marquez. Oh, and the referees is like, I want peace too. It looks like Katniss Hame is up here taking taking advantage of everybody. Most of the women know. Yo, is Katniss Hame really that much of a bitch? Up here beating up the women, but ain't gonna go for Berlin. Like you could have went for Berlin and like you know been a man about it, but nah, you gonna go for the women. I hope you get your ass whooped, man. Yo, I'm and I'm I'm being biased now. Katniss Hame best get eliminated, but the women are taking control. Get ready to beat his big ass down. Oh boy, Widow got the skateboard. And just threw it attack Katniss Hamer's knee and he just fell all the way down, man. Uh-oh. Nobody else is eliminating nobody. Widow and Tony Lang got steel chairs, though. Oh, wait a minute. And Monica Marquez has been eliminated. Oh boy, we are down to one woman and two men right now. Oh, this is this is disgusting. Somebody help Widow! Widow gonna need some damn help, man. Getting beat down with chairs and skateboard. Both of them. Chairs and skateboard. Now getting splashed on by Berlin. This is this is despicable, bro. 
Oh, wait a minute. And Cactus Heyman just eliminated Bahrain. We are down to Cactus Heyman and Widow. Oh, no. That son of a bitch. Cactus Heyman has eliminated Widow. And he is your first ever fucking brother love Memorial Cup winner. That fat son of a bitch. Oh, man, that's despicable. Well, shout out to Cactus Heyman winning that Battle Royal, becoming your first ever Brother Love Memorial Cup champion, man. Monica Marquez's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling match. Kylie Barry has emerged from that match with some credit after scoring an elimination. Leon Locke's stamina has risen to 51% after participating in that match. Berlane's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling match. Red Eye's profile has risen. Widows emerged from that match with some craft to survive until the end. Cactus Heyman's profile has risen after taking part in such a compelling match. And Flick Thug has emerged from that match with some credit after scoring an elimination. And there you have it, folks. Our opening contest of the reboot. Cactus Heyman winning your first ever Brother Love Memorial Cup Battle Royal. And you know he's going to be bragging about this shit all month long. We probably ain't going to hear the end of it. But once again, congratulations to Cactus Heyman. Oh, even that made me burp. Folks, once again, welcome to Wrestling Revolution, the reboot. It is now time to get into some action, well, more action, right here tonight. So, folks, sit tight, grab you some popcorn, grab you some seltzer water, a soda, whatever you can have, a beer, you know what I'm saying? And hope you enjoy the show. Let's get on to our first official match of the evening. Let's do this, folks. Don't forget to subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup of the evening. As we got some singles action, get ready to go down. As first making its way to the ringside area is C.S. Royal. C.S. Royal, man, he's been starting to do a whole lot better in this ring recently. But will he be able to defeat the submission specialist himself? Otaku! Omar the Otaku, who made his debut last week and, and just won his match with a boss of crab. Will he be able to do the same thing? So, C.S. Royal, we about to find out here, right here, right now. And he catches C.S. Royal with a power slam off the rip while he was holding that Ultimate Warrior post. And that, oh boy, he got that guitar. Oh boy, they just looking at each other. Oh, and Omar said, fuck you. They really just going to stand here looking at each other. Waiting to see who's going to make the first move. Oh boy, C.S. Royal with that arm bar. Oh, and here we go. Omar gets up and grabs the guitar. Oh, man, he went for a leg drop and didn't hit a damn thing. All he hit was that Ultimate Warrior post. You forgot Ultimate Warrior was not a competitor in this matchup. Now Otaku had, had CS rolling that headlock, and now he grabs that guitar, and now the Ultimate Warrior picture. Oh, and gets thrown to the outside. And now both men are on the outside. What is CS Roll about to do? Get Otaku back up. What in the hell did he just do? He just tossed him onto the steps. Oh. Both men are back in the ring. Look at the strength from CS Roll as he just threw Otaku over the top rope. Omar trying to fight back. And he throws CS Roll back to the outside. Now, listen, you're going to get a count out. 
Oh, boy, now that damn step them broke. CS Royal goes right on. Well, I was trying to go back into the ring. And here we go. Oh, and he gets smashed upside the head with that Ultimate Warrior picture. And there they go again. Try to go for a double song, but missed. Bound up. Oh, my God. Omar gets back into the ring. And now so does CS Royal. Oh, guys, beat him with the trophy. Yo, that's that. That is that's the Brother Love Memorial Cup trophy. I got I guess Candace Heyman left it in there. Like he really didn't care, man. He won that trophy left it in there, but now CS Royal got the Nintendo 64. But gets tossed up by Omar. Gills for the cover. Two. Oh my god, Omar almost won. He really is bringing him into the Taco Asylum. <laughs> uh oh, and right into that arm bar. He's up here trying to pull on that arm, make a CS Royal submit. Oh man, he is yanking on it. Pause. <laughs> oh boy, let CS Royal get back up. He busts him aside the head with that trash can lid. What is. What is Omar doing? CS Royal on the top rope with that guitar. But he doesn't jump. He should have jumped with the guitar. Why is Otaku bringing in that ladder, though? This don't this this don't look safe. But he gets Oh God! He set the sign on fire. And now Newbie Nate trying to get rid of the ladder while Omar just beating down CS Royal. That's Royal trying to get up. Snap man. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Three. And oh Mario on Taco wins with a snap man. Oh, over CS Royal. What a match. <gasps> oh my god, a newbie nature's just knocked on Taco. <laughs> oh man. That was crazy. Otaku's reached the limit of wrestling revolution probably and must find new audiences elsewhere. Oh, God. Man, and CS Rose had not been affected by that match. Yo, that was crazy. That was absolutely insane. And, folks, that was, this is just the beginning. Let's get ready to go to our next matchup, folks. Let's do this. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our next matchup. And I'm really kind of sad about this one because we got two former, like, friends, former partners, Metal Demon, getting ready to take on the man that turned his back on him, and that being Prince Psykia. Yo, man, Metal Demon, he up here want to still be Prince Psykia's friend, man. But I don't know, man. This is... This is tough right here. You made me look bad for the last time, Metal Demon. Why should I tolerate fat? Damn, no. When you cause me a win, you cause me money. That's something that I simply cannot forgive. Yo, psyche up. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were doing it on purpose. Betrayal is the only way you could hurt anybody. Wow. We all make mistakes, Prince Psyche, and I... And agreeing to work with you was my biggest mistake. Metal Demon is talking shit. What defines us? What happened next? And you'll need another excuse after I cost you this win. Oh boy, here we go. The battle is on. Prince Psyche versus Metal Demon. Oh boy. We know that they 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 was a tag team and they stayed holding a whole lot of L's. But now at least this time, one, one of them will get a win. And Metal Demon just crashed that glass into Prince Psyche. Oh, Metal Demon busted his head on that lead pipe. Psyche got that steel chair. Metal Demon, oh, Metal Demon ready. Oh, he went for that. Damn. Yo, yo, this is a fast-paced matchup right here. And now Metal Demon rolling around like he, like he tumbling. Now, Metal Demon 
Oh, gets tripped right down to it, right down to the ground. Oh boy, damn! And he knocked that fist right in, right in the Prince Saki's face, and he busts him side of the head with that left pipe. He laying the pipe down on him. Pause. Big moon saw from Metal Demon, and a spear man. Oh my God, yo, Demon is pissed. Oh boy. And that, yo, there's no love lost between these two. Metal Demon goes for the pin. One, two. And Metal Demon wins! Metal Demon wins! Metal Demon has picked up the victory over Prince Psykia. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Metal Demon pin Prince Psykia in an engaging match. Prince so pro Psykia's profile suffered considerably after incurring a loss at a major event. And Metal Demon has reached the limit of the rest of Revolution popularity and must find new audiences elsewhere. That don't matter, folks. Metal Demon has finally broke the curse of the dreaded L. Metal Demon has broke the curse of the dreaded L. And folks, he has moved on and grown so damn much. I'm so happy. For Metal Demon finally picking up that win. Folks, it's time to celebrate. I ain't got no liquor, but I showed up, got some more. Wine, folks. Um, if anybody wanna sponsor your boy, I got you. Mm, what a match. Metal Demon picking up his first W. Now it's time to get ready for our next matchup. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup right here on the reboot. As we got making his way to the ringside area, Grunion, who unfortunately just last week lost his shot at the Intercontinental Championship against Clayton Heath, but he's ready to get back, get back on that lineup to get back to get that chance to get that title shot. But first, he got to go up against the newcomer. The one that showed a dominant force last week, and that being Jay Dot. It's all to be an interesting matchup, right? As you hold that sign, don't down with this sort of thing. Oh, okay. Jay Dot jumped off the top rope and missed all the way. Oh, damn it! Granny crashed that window, but <laughs> Jay Dot hit that lariat on Granny. That showed him, yo, that was a burner lady you told, boy. Shades of Kenna Kabashi. And now he gets Grunion back up to his feet. Now they just looking at each other. j Dot with the steel chair just beating Grunion right on down. What is j Dot going to do? He's just waiting on Grunion to get back up. Springboard. Oh, and he missed. Hit nothing but rope. And now Newbie Nate sitting in the, st in the chair. While Grain jumps over the top rope and hits nothing. Uh-oh. They go right into the corner. And now Grain recording shit like he on World Star. But j Dot with that tilt the world. And now Grain up here rolling like he tumbling. Because tum pump is better than tumbling. Oh. Big power slam from j Dot. Oh, my God. The Nintendo 64, 64 blew up. And he ran the game, went for the cover real quick. But newbie Nate won't count. He ran over there and sat his dumb ass down. Oh, but yo, j Dot's back is cut to shreds right now. Oh, boy, he's in the corner. But Grant, Grant said you can't see him. Grunion is fighting back. Oh, God, and he gets taken down. Grunion got that weight. There's Jade out up. Throws him right back into the corner. Oh, boy, what is Grunion about to do? Super Plex! Oh, my God, and he hurt his own back with that. Oh, wait a minute. They roll. Oh, they rolling. And wait a minute, Jay Dot got the cover! Two! Oh boy! Grunion gets that chair, but he gets belly to belly back into the ring. He goes for the cover. Newbie Nate's not, not going for the count. One, 
two. Oh my God, another kick out, but Gray kips up and grab the camcorder. Oh boy, they are beating each other to death. They're gonna turn this into a whole ass boxing match. Oh, oh my God, yo, what a move. But j kicks out. That was phenomenal, big drop kick. Gray goes to the, oh boy, he's up on the top rope. But J Dot goes to the outside. What is what's J Dot doing? Oh, but he had to grab that money. That money, money. Yeah, yeah. Now he's pulling. Oh boy, he got the headlock in on Grunion. And beat him down with the ducats. He punching him with all that paper. Oh boy, he goes for the takedown. Grunion back up, still up on his feet. J Dot. What's he doing? He's walking around with all that money. Now he's punching him with it. Punching him with all with, with that, that wild of money. Oh boy, Jay just threw the chair back to the outside. Oh boy, now, now that damn Brother Love Memorial Cup. Still in the Oh God. And now he's beating Green with a grunting. Gets him in the ankle lock. Uh oh. He's thrown right in that corner. And now Green is recording him. Oh, shit, he got punched with the trophy. And now he gets laid right back down with the trophy. J Dot. Let it toe right on the Grinion. One, two, and J Dot picks up your win. And now he's holding up the Brother Love Memorial Cup as if he just won the Brother Love Memorial Cup. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Big ups to J Dot. J has reached the limit of wrestling revolution popularity and must find new audiences elsewhere. Oh man, and Grandpa has suffered considerably after the current loss at a major event. Man, yo, what a match. We just seen here between J Dot and Grunion. And we still got more to come. This has been a phenomenal event so far. Folks, let's get to our next matchup. And ladies and gentlemen, our next match of the evening is the most singles action as we got the one and the only Overlord Divine making his way to the ringside area. Yo, and that damn Brother Love Memorial Cup is still in the ring. But that is all right because we about to have his opponent make his way to the rings. We got Chaotic Persona on the way to the ringside area. Yo, this is going to be a, a tough-ass matchup right here. This is a two extremely vicious competitors and this is gonna be a wild matchup and here we go chaotic up here recording and he damn he tried to throw the camcorder at devon but he hit tony land instead tony land ain't even paying attention to the match devon got 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 oh boy just bust him inside the face with that that light tube and now that light tube explodes devon got the brass knuckles while chaotic got that lead pipe he about to let, lay that pipe down on. Oh, Divine with the drop kick. Knock a chaotic down on the back, on his back. And a stunning, an explosion. Oh, God, dog. Oh. Yo, we got so much explosives going on up in here. Uh oh, Luther's press from chaotic. But now Divine. Back up to his feet, but he gets hit with that extreme sign, but he drop kick chaotic. He grabs that steel chair. What it? What is Divine about to do? Springboard! Oh! <laughs> it's my boy and busting him upside his damn head, bro. Oh boy! Oh, what are we about to see? Big tilt the world. Goes for the cover. One, two. Boy, Divine almost won. With the quickness. Oh. He grabs, he's punching chaotic. Oh, and he goes for that running knee. Devon got that trash can lid. And now, oh boy, chaotic got the money. Oh, wow, chaotic knocked himself, his own self out with that weight. But now, he lifts up Devon for that suplex. Hesitate, he drops him with a brain buster instead. Oh boy, Chaotic gets up on the top rope with a big Macho Man style elbow drop. 
Oh no, chaotic. Let's up, Divine. With a power bomb. One, two. Oh boy, Divine kicks out. Oh, drops him with an elbow again, but Divine grabs that extreme sign. Oh boy, oh no. Chaotic. Wait a minute, Divine go with that with that spear. Oh boy, chaotic, chaotic with that kip up. Oh no, and another explosion. Oh boy. So much stuff is blowing up this night. Chaotic. What's up? Oh my god! Two! Oh my, what the hell happened? Chaotic might have broke a bone, but he still kicked out. Oh my god, bro. Chaotic can barely move. Divine comes back into the ring. Oh no, I don't know if he's feeling bad for him or not. He catches with a with a running knee. And goes for the cover. One, two. And Divine picks up your win. Oh no, but the real question is, what has happened to Chaotic Persona? Oh no, that was frightening. Oh God, Chaotic Persona injured his leg in that match. It'll be out of action for the next three weeks. Oh, no. Chaotic hurt his leg, man. On a belly to belly. Wow. Man, yo, feels bad for Chaotic right now. Overlord Divine has damaged his reputation by appearing for an inferior promotion. With, inferior promotion? What you mean? We are the top promotion. We out here, man. We out here. Folks, it's time for our next matchup. Let's get to it. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next matchup of the evening. As we got the ladies get ready to go down. As we got the, the as we got Mona Alicia making her way to the ringside area. Former women's champion. And as you can see, that women's championship is in the ring. And no, I meant former women's champion of all American wrestling. And folks, speaking of former women's champions, we got Amanda Moonchild making her way to the ringside area along with her, with her good friend Sugar Smacks, who later on tonight will be defending her title against them on uh, White Wolf Jackson. And here we go. Wait a minute. Wow, Sugar Smacks got thrown back to the back already. Didn't waste no time. Oh, God. And Mona Alicia got beat down already. And Amanda with the red neck and choke on Mona Alicia. Oh, this is this is, this ain't looking good for Mona Alicia off the rip. Up there being choked out. But Mona Alicia breaks out of it. And gets that gets that, that two by four. Oh, Amanda. Oh! Now she got the two by four. And got a stick of dynamite. Oh, Luther's press. And a double star from, from Amanda Moonchild. But she knocks herself out with, with that two by four. Mona Alicia. Oh, got in that sunset flip. One, two. Oh, boy, not even a two count. Mona Alicia making sure she's not losing like that now. Amanda got the bell. Now Mona Alicia got both the ball bat. Not the ball bat, but the two by four and the window. Amanda kicking Mona Leach right again and goes for a double stomp. Well, somebody gonna need to get that cheeseburger and get a little bit of energy. Did you see the height from Amanda? But she missed. Didn't get a damn thing. Oh, but she speared Mona Leach. And now they flipped over and got a choke hold on her. But Amanda's still fighting back. Oh boy, gotta roll up. And now flipped over to roll up. Two. Oh, my God. Mona Alicia got that stick of dynamite. Oh, boy, man, a little bit worried. But, oh, double axe handle from the top rope from Mona Alicia. Oh, boy. And now we got Luther's press. Amanda up here being real careful right now. She got that broken window. Oh, snap mare. And still got that window. Mona Alicia struggling to get back up to her feet. And now she's getting pounded on her knee, but wait a minute. Mona Alicia still fighting back. 
Uh, oh, oh boy! I thought a man was about to put was about to get ready to put her in that that ankle lock. Is Amanda gonna go back up to the top once again? No, she is not. Oh, she grabbed Mona Lisa. Throws over her head and she lands right on that glass. Oh boy. She got that got that light too. Oh god, yo, um, Mona Lisa is hurting, boy. And Amanda is being as ruthless as ever right now. There ain't no love lost between these two. Uh oh. Boy, I, re I really thought a man was about to go for a tequila sunrise. Oh, boy. Mona Alicia hitting up with that, with that two by four. What are we about to see? Rolls her up. Oh, and a reversal. Wait a minute. One, two. Three. And a man to pick something to win. Oh my God! She just said "fuck you" to Mona Lisa. Oh boy, you know this feud ain't over. Oh, we know this feud ain't over, boy. Amanda Moonchild pinned Mona Lisa in the house in a superb match. Amanda Moonchild has reached the limit, whatever. Mona Lisa probably has suffered considerably after incurring a loss at a major event. Sugar Max is happy that her client won that match, and with a score of. 5,001. This is now Wrestle Revolution's highest rated segment of the year. Congratulate, yo. This is what, two weeks in a row that Amanda done put on one of the best matches of the year. Folks, and we still not done, baby. We got even more action coming your way. So without any further ado, let's do this. And ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our tag team matchups up in here. For, matter of fact, let me redo that. We're live, pal. But it's now time for our title matches to commence. As first, on their way to the ring, ring, we got the Wax. The team of Wax Axe and Wax Oz, they get ready to defend their tag team titles against the new team of Watoza and Nasty Dunk. Oh, boy. This is about to be a dope-ass matchup right here, boy. Tag team title action. Get ready to go down. And here we go. Yo, and with Toes and Nasty Dunn just out here hugging each other. What the? Oh! Wack X really tried to go for a kick but got caught into a dominator. And he got a gun! He got a gun! Oh, no. That, yo, with toes are like, yo, y'all ain't messing with you with no gun now. You better put that gun down. Oh. Where is Clayton Heath out here? Where in the world? What is this? It's Clayton Heath? No. There's no way. He. Why is he helping out the wax? And he goes straight. What is going on here? Oh my God, Clayton Heath getting involved in this, knowing he got a match later on. This is, yo, this is despicable. Why did he go straight for Batosa? And now here comes Nasty Dunk into the ring. He's the legal man. What is this, Batosa? With a sit out power bomb on the whack axe. Oh my God, bro. Matoza. Oh, and that's been a real neck of choke. And a cattle mutilation. He is choking Wack X. And now Nasty Dunk eating, eating the glizzy. Once again, pause on that, though. Uh oh, and he's hitting him with a cell phone. Oh, wait a minute. Wack X goes, goes for the backslide. Oh, boy, all hell is broken loose. Nasty Dunk. What's he about, what's he about to do to Wack X? He picks up the camcorder. He's up here recording them like this world, like this episode of World Star. Nasty Dunk on the top rope. It jumps over the cloak. What in the hell is going on now? But Nasty Dunk goes for the cover. Two. Oh, God. And Wack X with the, Wack, Wack Oz with the save. And now they go to the outside. Why did the lights just go out? I mean, I know we're outside, but 
That just made the moans out. Oh, boy. This, yo, this match is crazy. So much going on. Nasty Dunk gets back into the ring. And he goes straight for whack eyes. And he got a damn hammer. And now he's, uh-oh. Damn, whack eyes knocked himself out. Oh, but but why did Wack Axe just fall right down to the right down to, to the ground, man? It's like he not he don't want none of a nasty dunk. Nasty dunk. Oh, he beat now Wack Eyes. While while newbie Nate is in there drinking. Oh, and a big boot! Not almost not the tooth out of Wack Eyes' mouth. Nasty dunk. Oh, damn with toes and knocks out Wack Eyes. Oh boy, they yo they are double teaming these two, but damn Clayton Heath, what was he doing out here? Oh, and he hits him with the hammer. I wanna be yo sledgehammer, and he got me the line tamer. Oh my god! Oh, he could he could have had that match won. Oh boy. Uh, oh, big choke slam. Whack eyes down on the mat. Oh, he goes for the right guy. Buzz him inside the head again with that hammer. Clayton Heath, what was he doing out here? What is his motive? Oh. Oh, God. Whack guy still fighting. Oh. Gets on top of Nash Dump, but not Nash Dump. I don't know what's going on. He got him in a guillotine. Oh, God, and Whack, Whack Axe with the save. Oh, he desperately needed to save him, though. Oh, my God. And now Whack Axe is on the outside. And here they go. Still battling it out. While Clayton, he's just looking on. I don't know what his damage is with the Wax. Oh, what are we about to see here? Oh, no, Whack Axe just tossed the Nasty Duck to the outside. Oh boy, now Wack Axe is the legal competitor. Oh no. Yo, they could sit. They really could save their damn titles if they keep fighting on the outside. But wait a minute. Nasty Dunk just tossed him into the crowd. And now he runs back to the inside. Oh, what was Nasty Dunk thinking? Oh, wait a minute. And then with Tosa running out there with that glizzy. And that, uh-oh. All right, and they get back into the ring. But now, Clayton Heath. Oh, my God, trying to take out Nasty Dunk. This is despicable. Oh, boy, Clayton Heath up here helping the wax. I don't get it. Big leg drop from Nasty Dunk. He might need to go on, go on ahead and make a tag. Uh oh, got him in the triangle. But, oh my God! He just yeeted! Oh no, and now we got an explosion! There's so much going on in this match. Nasty Dunk blew up once again, just like he did last week. Oh no. Whack Eyes, Whack Axe is back in the ring. He gets Nasty Dunk up and goes for that arm bar. Oh no! Whack! Oh, oh God! Is he gonna make Nasty Dunk submit? No, N Nasty Dunk gets out of it. Uh oh, Whack! Oh my God! Whack ass gets thrown right to the outside once again. Oh, he might be out cold. He might be out cold now. Nasty Dunk might need to go make a make a tag though. Oh, he did make a tag with Tosa, now your legal competitor. And there they go, beating down the wax once again. Oh, God. Yo, but Tosa done had it, bro. 
This man is holding all the titles, the tag titles, the Intercontinental title. But, but Toza wants it all. Uh oh. He takes whack. Oh, and a big hangman's neck break on the whack eyes. He goes right for whack X. Leg drop. What are we about to see? But Toza with the punch. Oh boy, he's pumped up. He's pumped up. What are we about to see? He's up on the top rope. But he gets down over the top rope. Big clothesline goes for the cover. One. Two. Three. And we have no world tag team champions. The team of Watosa and Nasty Dunk are your new wrestling revolution tag team champions who even with the help of clayton eve the wax could not could not pick up that win folks congratulate the toes and nasty dunk for becoming the new tag team champions of wrestling revolution whack acts and whack eyes have damaged their profile by losing the tag team championships in that match nasty dunk is yeah 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 whack eyes was upset at the outcome of that match and had stormed out of the ring that man pissed and fucking left. Oh boy. And with a score of 5,172, this is now Wrestle Revolution, the highest rated segment of the year. We keep putting out bangers. This is why we are the definition of professional wrestling in the world. Wrestle Revolution, we are killing it. The reboot is a whole new era of this company of the world. I'm telling you, fam. I'm telling you. We are bringing y'all to more new heights. And we still got more matches to come. Let's get on to our next matchup. More and more title action coming to you right now. And ladies and gentlemen, our next match of the evening is for the Wrestling Revolution World Heavyweight Championship. As folks making his way to the ringside area is your world heavyweight champion, Cool Ricky. And on his way to the ringside area is his opponent, the number one contender, Tyler El Guapo. Oh boy, this ought to be a big one right here, folks. Tyler El Guapo making his way to the ringside area, ready to get that world championship from Cool Ricky. And here, we go. Uh oh, Tyler. Oh, God, I went for the springboard and missed every last bit of. Oh, and cool, cool. Ricky had that weight and missed. Yo, everybody missing. Everybody missing some shit. They looking at each other. They ain't that. They don't know if they want to fight for the world. To oh, wait a minute. Look at this trip from, from damn El Guapo. The 1396 slam. Uh oh, snap man. Cool Ricky still got that belt on him. And now he's just beating down Tyler El Guapo. Oh boy, he just, just right on time. But now Tyler gets him over. Oh, guy, right to the submission. Cool Ricky pulling on Tyler's arm. Oh, guy. He tried to go for the elbow drop, but missed. And now Cool Ricky goes right back to that arm bar trying to make him submit. Uh oh, Tyler. With that. Oh, God. He went for that hip toss and hurt his own self. But now, Cool Rick is up on the top rope. With the double axe handle, sending Tyler to the outside. But Tyler was no selling it. He like, fuck you. Oh, oh, God. He got hit with that lead pipe. Cool Ricky beating down Tyler. Oh, boy. What are we about to see? Goes right for that, that toe hold. Oh, wait a minute. But Tyler goes for the cover. Jesus Christ, yo. This pay-per-view has been absolutely insane. Tyler. Oh, boy, there's a bear hug. Man, who would have who thought we'd be seeing a bear hug up in here? And he is beating him with the pipe while he got him in the bear hug. Uh-oh. Tyler was going for them knees, but Cool Ricky wasn't feeling it. Oh, boy. Tyler stomping on Cool Ricky. Punching him a little bit, but now. 
Go sends him to the ropes. Oh, cool. Ricky almost got sent to the outside, but now he wouldn't. But that time he gets sent to the outside. And now Tyler got the damn sledgehammer in his hands. Cool Ricky goes right back to the inside and grabs the camcorder. We about to get ready to see some more World Star recording. Oh. Oh! Oh, God. He got him in that triangle. He is pulling on him. He got him in that cold break at night. Oh, God. He is, he is trying to make Tyler tap out, but he won't do it. Tyler gets back up to his feet. Grabs that, grabs that camcorder. Now he's recording. But now he gets dropped with a Luthez press. And it's getting beat down. Yo, these two are violent on each other right now. Oh, Tyler with the kick. And now he got that camcorder right on back. Throws Cool Ricky to the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, and right down that headlock. Oh, but Tyler gets out with the quickness. Oh, what are we about to see? Cool Ricky beating his head right into the man. Oh, my God. The viciousness of Cool Ricky. He ain't too cool. Oh, boy. He is wearing Tyler's ass out. Oh, oh boy. He's powered up. What are we about to see? Uh oh. Reversal. Oh, God. And now we got Tony Land in there eating a banana. He gets his belt back. Oh, boy. Stunner! Oh, God. He got, he caught him with that stunner. Oh, he is getting so damn cocky on him. What are we about to see? He got that briefcase again. Oh, boy. Tyler is stunned. I mean, well, he did get caught with a stunner, so it only makes sense for him to be stunned. Oh, boy. He hit him with a banana. Oh, but right. Oh, God. Tyler got him in that ankle line. His face landed right on to. Oh, my God. Tyler pulled the upset. Tyler El Guapo pulled the upset. We have a new world champion. Oh, my God. Tyler El Guapo has pulled the upset of the year. Congratulations to Tyler El Guapo for becoming the new world champion of wrestling revolution. Oh, my God. That was phenomenal. Cool Ricky Stannis dropped after losing the world championship. Oh, man. With a score of 5,999. 5, this is now Wrestle Revolution's highest rated segment of the year. We done had three highest rated segments of the year. Do you understand what I'm telling you now? Wrestling Revolution is the hottest brand in the world. There ain't no, no stopping us now. The reboot is here. The reboot is live. And we are killing it, folks. It's time to get, fired, to, get to our next matchup. Let's do this. And ladies and gentlemen, our next matchup is for our women's, a.k.a. the lightweight championship. And folks, making her way to the ringside area is your lightweight women's champion. That being Sugar Smacks. And she is ready to put that title on the line. And on the line out here hugging Amanda Moonchild, getting luck. And now on her way to the ring is White Wolf Jackson. She about to get ready to get this title shot, bro. And yo, this has been a phenomenal night right here, boy. So much greatness going on. And here we go with our next matchup. Sugar Smash got that steel chair. And now her. Oh, damn. Why would just do a whole ass tombstone at her? And now Sugar Smash threw, threw a mic. And here we go with the. Oh, God. It's clocked right in the face. Yo, Sugar Smash out here trying to box. Oh, oh boy. Now White Wolf got that chair. White Wolf goes up to the top. But, man, oh, she th thinks differently of it, though. And now look at Sugar Smash saying like, yo, this title is going to stay around my waist. Wait a minute, Human Torture Rat. White Wolf with the Human Torture Rat. Oh, God, that Poison Rana. 
and right to a headlock. Jesus Christ. White Wolf pulling right on that headlock now, man. Yo, listen. We got, I told you, we got the best action ever right here in Wrestling Revolution. Oh, God. And now Sugar Smash beating her in the head with that steel chair. What is it? Uh-oh, jumps over. And lands right in that corner. What Sugar Smash about to do? Uh-oh, reversal. I mean, Sugar... White Wolf on the top rope. Goes for that cross body. Oh, boy. And now Sugar Smash got the camcorder. Time for some world star action. She ready to get some beat downs going on. Oh, wait a minute. The extreme signs that came into play again. Oh, and a low blow from White Wolf. Uh oh. And gets right, right on top of Sugar Smash. Uh oh. Got Sugar Smack with the guillotine. Pulling right on White Wolf. Trying to make a submit. Uh oh, wait a minute. White Wolf goes with the pin. Now Sugar Smack over the pin. One, two. Oh boy. What are we about to see? Oh, a big spear from White Wolf. And now she grabs that extreme sign again. There's got to be a stop sign or a yield sign or something. Oh boy, Amanda's in the ring. Oh, God, she just tossed White Wolf on her back. Sugar Smack. Oh, God, Sugar Smack's got tossed to the outside. Jesus Christ, man. Sugar Smack's getting back into the ring. Uh oh. Everybody out here drinking. Sugar Smack got White Wolf. Over, going up there, Nina. And now gets it down on the mat. Uh oh. And a German suplex. Landed right on that drink. Yo, everybody trying to say, oh, boy, not the flaming pool stick. And Sugar Smacks is just wailing away on White Wolf with that damn flaming pool stick. And she got two pool sticks now. Yo, she is up here fighting like she's Zoro from One Piece. Up here doing the two sword style. Uh oh, Luther's press. Now Sugar Smacks got her on her back. Oh, boy, up here just punching her. What are we about to see? Oh, God, just throw, throws White Wolf right into the ropes. Oh, my God, yo. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sweating right now. This has been a phenomenal night. German suplex from, from White Wolf again. Yo, Sugar Smack's out here barely able to get up. Oh, God. Now she's getting beat with the pool stick. Uh oh Sugar Smacks, punching right on back. They are brawling. Sugar Smacks grabs her belt back. Uh-oh, goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, God, and White Wolf continues to kick out. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, something's on fire. She got a gun. Sugar Smacks got a gun. Uh-oh, White Wolf. Oh, goes for the sunset flip. One. Oh, my God, and White Wolf still gets up. Uh oh, throws White Wolf to the ropes. Oh God, she runs right in, right into the referee, knocking herself out. Oh boy, White Wolf, Sugar Smash up again. That drink. Oh God, just met. She pistol whooped her. One, two. Oh God, and White Wolf continues on. How is she able to continue? Oh God, she got pistol whooped again. Oh, God, and Sugar Smash is out here just drinking and pistol whooping her. And threw the gun right on at her. Oh, God, just broke the glass bottle over her head, and now she got a nice stick. Oh, my God, yo. Sugar Smacks is ruthless. She is ruthless. Oh, God, beating White Wolf's studio down with that nice stick. Showing no remorse. Belly to belly, right back into the ring, goes for the cover. One, two, Three. and Sugar Smacks is still your lightweight women's champion. Oh, my God, boy, that was insane. Wow. White Wolf's profile has suffered considerably having incurred the loss at a major event. And Sugar Smacks have reached the limits. Yo, Sugar Smacks pin White Wolf Jackson in a perfect lightweight championship match still 
your women's champion of wrestling revolution is none other than Sugar Smacks. Folks, that was insane. I'm up here, like I said, I'm sweating. I'm up here, my, I'm, I'm glad my air conditioner just came on because it is hot. This whole event has been hot. And folks, we got one final match to go. It is now time for your main event. Let's do this. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event. And it is for the Intercontinental Championship. First, making his way to the ringside area. The newly reborn Gothic Nightmare. This is his first time back in the ring in a long time. But folks, his opponent is your Intercontinental Champion, who we saw earlier tonight, Clayton Heath, the misfit himself. Folks, this is going to be wild. This is your main event of the evening. Let's do this. Clayton Heath with that steel chair and Gothic up here trying to record. And he, oh God, he busting up Gothic in the, in the head with that chair. But now, Gothic up here flipping. Yo, last time we saw Gothic Nightmare, he blew up in the cemetery against Shane McMahon. But, and now he is a different man. I guess he been living with the dead for a while. Oh boy, he just hit Clayton with that camcorder and now recording him a little bit. Clayton Heath takes him down with that headlock. Oh boy! Oh, oh, guy! And Clayton gets sent over to the to the outside. Clayton, like, nah, I'm getting right back in here. You, we, we, we not, we not into this match like this. Not on no outside. Goes over, and that, oh god, he is still running. What? Oh boy, what's Gothic about to do? Hurricane Rana! Holy shit! Gothic with a, a big body slam. Oh, boy. That Hurricane Ronald was nasty landing on them chairs, though. Gothic with that headlock takes, takes Clayton Heath down. Clayton gets back up to his feet. Oh, and that face plant right on the Gothic round of that chair. Oh, boy. Now he got him in that half crab. But wait a minute. Back slide from Gothic. Uh oh. Big take that. Oh, my God. Yo, we are seeing a whole new edge to Gothic Nightmare now. Oh, throws him to the ropes. Oh, God, he runs right into the referee. Yo, the speed in this match is insane. Uh oh, what is this? Goes for another Eric Ross. Says Clayton, he's sailing to the outside of the ring. Oh, boy. Now, yo, Gothic is on a whole nother level right now. And here they go brawling on the outside. Uh oh. Goes for it. Oh my god, a one winged angel! Holy shit, now he's up here just trying to trying to make Godlick submit. But wait a minute. The referee is still counting. Sit oh god. Clayton might want to hurry up and get back into the ring. Seven. The referee is a seven. Oh god. Eight. Clayton, oh boy, Clayton had to hurry up and get back into that ring, boy. Oh, man. Oh. And now he get, got, gets, gets monkey tossed. These two are battling out for this Intercontinental Championship. The number one prize in this company. Gothic. Went, oh, my God. He went for a, hurricane, he went for a damn power bomb, but got Hurricane Rana to the outside. So much madness going on right here in our main event. Oh boy, now got got, got, got the brass knuckles. And escape. Oh! He just clocked Clayton Heath. Clayton Heath just fall fell face first. Oh boy, now they now they going to the outside. Nope. Here comes Gothic back to the inside. Oh, and he catches, he catches Gothic with that running knee. Oh, boy, he's waiting on Gothic to get back up. He's like an apex predator right now. Through that glass window of Gothic, making sure he doesn't get right back up. Oh, boy, a snap mare. And what, what, what's Clayton about to do? Right to that headlock. 
He's pulling on that headlock strong right now on the, on the Gothic Nightmare. He's trying to make him submit. We know Gothic's neck was damaged for a minute. Oh, boy, he's choking. Clayton, he got him choking in the middle of the ring. Newbie Nate. Oh, God, but Gothic gets out. Big snap man. And now Gothic goes right for that arm. Oh, boy, but Clayton Heath gets out of it. This matchup is bananas. Oh, boy, he misses. Clayton Heath grabs Gothic and right back to that headlock. Yeah, Clayton Heath been studying. He knows that Gothic has a bad neck right now. Oh, oh my God. He's pulling. Just yanking right on that neck. Newbie Nate. Keep making sure to keep checking in on Gothic. He's making sure that Gothic can actually breathe and he's actually still alive. Clayton Heath is pulling. He just dropped the camcorder. He wants to make sure that he's able to put lock both of his hands in. Gothic cannot move. Clayton Heath is still pulling. Is it? Is a rap. Clayton Heath is still your Intercontinental Champion. Oh boy. What a night. Clayton Heath made the God of Nightmare Cement an exceptional Intercontinental Championship match. Clayton Heath has reached the limit of Wrestle Revolution popularity and must find new audiences elsewhere. Oh boy, and Godly Nightmare's profile suffered considerably after incurring a loss in a major event. With a score of 6,000, this is now Wrestle Revolution's highest rated segment of the year. We killed it. Oh, we blew it out of the water with this pay per view. The reboot is easily the biggest event of this year, folks. Oh my God, what a, what a night. What a night. Rest Revolution have but, but rest, but trust. They're following in the United Kingdom after setting a new attendance record of 7,569. Let's go. Wrestling Revolution attendance of 7,569 fans. The United Kingdom has set a new record high for the company. We are killing it. The reboot, fantastic. And now, we thank you so much for joining us here for such an amazing night. For all of us here, this is Big Willieisms. I love you guys. Let us see these ratings. Let's go! We are now the number five organization in the world. There ain't nobody stopping wrestling revolution. We have crushed all American wrestling. We have crushed Super Lucha Libre just like I said I would. And now we done crushed Weekend Warriors. We about to get ready to topple everybody. We y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Wrestling Revolution is the best. And the reboot just proved that. Believe that. Believe that. Boy, well, I know we made money. Look at all that cheddar. Look at all that cheddar. Best event of the year, the reboot. The Reboot. Pay-per-view of the year, man. I'm sweating. I'm hot. This was one of the best nights of all time. And you know what it is. You know what time it is. I'm ready to hear this. It's time for the news. Let's go. All American wrestling have discovered a new talent known as Larry Killjoy. That's fine. Footage of when Clayton Heath 
made the Godly Nightmare submit an exceptional inner championship match has gone viral. Oh boy. Overall, the vice president on the Wrestle Revolution Rise has elevated their ratings to 83%. Cool Freak has developed a heated rivalry with Marty Jannetty of Lit. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> All American wrestlers have ejected Wrestle Revolution in South Bar after drawing 2,347 fans. Their region now extends to 13. Whatever, bro. That's fine. You might, you might, you, you, that's, don't nobody know what that country is. Strong South Wrestling have conquered all American wrestling in India after drawing 5,685 fans. They've reached now 24% of the world. Federation Online have ousted Strong Style Wrestling in India after drawing 7,385 fans. They've reached now extends to 15% of the world. Dangles defeated Lita to become the new co ed champion of wrestling school. And Wrestling Revolution have been challenged to expand their territory beyond 11% by the fourth week of August. We about to make that happen, bro. We about to take over some territory. Although West Europe is strong style wrestling territory, I personally like the Welcome Wrestling Revolution here. I'd be happy to appear on the card if it's something your fans would like to see. You know what? You know what? We're going to take over strong style wrestling shit, man. We will find a spot for you. Believe that let's get it boy we'll find a spot for you thanks for doing what's best for the fan this is a good opportunity for everybody and folks that is a wrap for us here tonight on the reboot folks we about to have ourselves a little invasion as we are about to get ready to take on Strong style wrestlers territory. We about to take this shit to a whole nother level. But first, we got to get a card book for next week. And that is, of course, where you all come into play. Here is your roster for Wrestling Revolution. I want y'all to decide, who do y'all want to see book next week right here on Wrestling Revolution? Of course, Wack Oz is not gonna be on the show this week. Cool Ricky won't be on, won't be able to wrestle either. Cool Ricky is took took the night off, so you can't book Cool Ricky or Wack Oz. But anybody else, feel free to let me know what matches you would like to see next week, right here on Wrestling Revolution. Leave them leave them in the comments, and don't forget to leave a like too, man. Leave a like, leave leave a comment who you would like to see. Let me know what you would like to see as the main event. What other match you would like to see. And specifically, who would y'all like to see go up against the Iron Sheik? Let me know who you want to see go up against the Iron Sheik. And let us get these ratings up sky freaking high. Oh, and one more thing before we leave. You know what I'm saying? If you're still here and you're a newcomer coming to watch the videos, of course, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to be involved... There are a couple of ways that you can get involved. Numero uno, and the fastest way that you can get in, is you all you got to do is subscribe on Patreon to that $5 tier. Not the $2. $2 tier, I thank you, and you're going to be in the, the credits and all that. But if you subscribe to that $5 tier, not only do you get to be a part of Wrestle Revolution, you also get to be part of storylines that's getting ready to come up and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Another way you can get you can get involved is by buying you some merch. So hit up bigwillyisms.com forward slash shop. You can buy merch from myself. You can buy merch from Chaotic Persona. You can buy merch from Sin Fritz. Or you can buy merch from Sugar Smacks. Or whoever else wants to create a store. I'm going to try to talk to Otaku and create him a store or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever merch you buy, just let me know. And when I see it come through, you will be. Put on the roster. Folks, tonight has been a phenomenal night of action. I got to let my throat recover, boy, because this whole show was absolutely amazing. Folks, thank you all so much for joining us here for Wrestling Revolution's The Reboot. It's a whole new era for Wrestling Revolution. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all next week. Until next time, it's your boy Big Willie Isms, and we's out. Peace!